Hello and welcome to Let's Play Lost Orders with me, Choker Billy. We're aboard the Samanese ship and have landed at the ex experimental staff. So we're going to go have a little look around, see what they have to offer. Ooh! Certainly. have one of those. So one of those each would be pretty decent. Uh, I think I've already got a soul ring. I mean, I might as well make it. Oh, I'm going to quickly build some rings. Okie dokie, so I've built all the rings. As the man, or the ones that the man had, but in uh, building them, what were they? <laughs> yeah, I'll use the filter complex. They are complex rings, so you've got the water-powered, wind-powered, but also the ones that we found as well, or got from the pipot. But uh, in building them, I also found, obviously, we've got like your Earth and then your Earth Plus or Earth Ring Ultra, but um, there's also actual level ups from that so you've got the jamming ring which is machine killer level one but then machine killer level two with the hacker ring obviously requires more but uh you know uh, so i think i'm gonna forego creating the uh plus ones because all the plus does it doesn't increase the effectiveness it just increases the ring so you're more likely to hit perfects and goods which to be honest we're not really struggling with too much so i'm gonna see if this dude's got a few of the things on sale that we might be able to use to build things. Uh, I doubt it, to be honest. But it's worth looking at nonetheless. No, it doesn't appear. So. Also, while we're at it, we don't need three of these. I am. Um, I like to keep one of everything, just in case. I don't know what in case of, but all the same to you, I shall keep them. It's always useful to have if you come up against a uh, dungeon where, like a, what was it called in Final Fantasy IX, Ibsen's Castle where stats are reversed and the like. Okay, so we can sleep here, that's good. Open? What are we open? Oh, right. I didn't see that there. A seed. Makes me wonder if, uh, maybe things that, or treasure chests that would have contained things like magic, but then if we buy the magic, if they become something else, maybe it's a way to find more seeds. Who knows? Yay! Unprecedented weather! Well, let's go sort out this overgrown walking stick and see what's going on. Probably should have saved, but it'll be fine. Oh, also put Jansen in the team now. So everyone's learning his moves. I have been on a pier uh, in stormy weather. It is very unsettling. You can feel the ground shifting beneath your feet. You can feel every wave that hits the supporting pillars. It is not fun. And I believe a week or so later, the pier was not completely, but mostly totaled from another storm we had. So yeah, don't mess with the weather, kids. It is fierce. I probably should have given that to Sarah, actually, because she seems to be the more competent of the magicians. Let's have a look at our stats quickly. 
Christ at the top. I knew that. So same strength. Yeah, so our magic attack's a bit better. And everything else is identical. Literally identical. Same weapon. Maybe the accessory makes a little bit of difference, but it doesn't feel I think Sarah's is better anyway, but attack time, the casting time, the evasion, accuracy, everything's identical. It's nice to see that they've got the same vitality and whatnot, and they have the same health as well. Same MP pool. Sarah is just better. Or, also, Sarah Sisulart. Interesting setting. Seth Bal, Kaim Argonar, Mac. I guess that'd be Mac and Cook Argonar. Or Sisulart, if they took their mother's name. Jansen Freed. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, Sarah is just better. Also, I didn't equip a skill on Ming. Because healing is always good. I probably could go for something else. What we got? Level 1 composite. Level 3 black and white. Do we not have a better black and white magic yet? I guess it is worth noting that Jansen is still level 22, so he's he's a little lacking. Right, he does. So he knows both white and black, but just individually doesn't learn the uh, the combined skill. I see you down there. It's about to comment on how abandoned this place feels, but not so, it would seem. Generators are good for the jamming rings, I think. And hopefully the um, ah, hacking rings. We haven't really fought many machines yet, so I assume we'll start fighting some here. Gotta love useless pistons. I'm having flashbacks to this place now. There's like catwalks of over three levels, and you have to keep on going up and down the lifts to find the treasures. And ah, oh, it's him. What's wrong? It's Kagara, the traitor who stole our memories and imprisoned us all. Yeah, oh, Jensen has a bone to pick. Has he got a twin or something? Hey, stupid pig! No. Get out of here! It. Guys without a brain can still walk. <laughs> so. Perhaps we finally get to face off against Gongora. Oh, and there are battles here. Oh, Let's see what happens again. Ah, oh, well, I've missed having Jensen in the battle. That does not look comfortable. That's pretty good. Cool. That does... I mean, it's going to be warm in here already, man, but I hope we got aircon. Anyway, mechanical, mechanical, and mechanical. Anything good steel? Generators? No. Sun crystal? Hmm. Right, I unequipped, I unequipped everyone's rings, so... Why don't oh I didn't equip the cutting down ability thing. Nope, no elements, so force it is. And gamble because it's fun. I think it costs the same as force, yeah. I think it's worth the gamble, literally and figuratively. Cool, off to a good, good start with a crit. Don't like it. 
Okay, so they've got their own version of Cut Down. Good to see. Nah. And they have high defenses as well. Alright, Gamble, don't fail me now! Yeah. I guess much the same. Ah! Although a good meter to measure by, I guess. So she did 247 without any ring. I always love it when games have such slow moving enemies and they just kind of stride up to your character and just very slowly swing their blade at them. And you get hit, and it's like in reality, you know you could avoid that. Also, cool damage. Hey, you can't use that kind of magic. Oh, that's fine. Wow, that was worthless. Let's remember the ring this time. Let's use the jamming ring. You jammy dodger. So, 247 versus... Yeah. That's not that huge of a difference. Oh, come on. Had to be on like a hundred health or something. Eighty-nine, maybe. Hey, didn't didn't get to steal my sunstone, but. Yay! Jansen learned anything? No. But Ming and Sarah did, so that's all that matters. Alright, I gave them new things to learn. Uh, that doesn't go anywhere, and I can see a treasure chest over there, so I'm guessing that looks like a some form of rails. Those things. So I'm guessing we can move something to get down there, so I'm not going to bother just yet. Also, there's treasure up here. Yay! A remedy will always be worth a lot. Ah, uh, yes. I remember this music. The very definition of industrial rock. Thanks for the exposition, buddy. Why are we taking this station apart? And why do both of you ever have laryngitis? Well, before Grandstaff was built, it was a test site. A magic engine to amplify magic energy. Under Lord John Gordon's direction, we are trying to double the magic energy available for his use. We're diverting the majority of the components from this site to Grandstaff. Or so I'm told. Is this an attempt to get Grandstaff back on schedule? That's right. These components are already attuned to magic energy. We should be able to run Grandstaff at full power right from the start. So what did Gongora just build this thing with no one noticing? Like it's not even on uh Irwin territory, is it? Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, I'm glad I did that. I'm going to put it back down, so I'm guessing that was probably the bridge to something somewhere. Maybe not. Eh, yeah, well, I'll probably regret that in a bit. Yeah, so that's a thing. I have a tendency to leave those sorts of things until after I've explored everywhere. Huh. 
hand on the heart, it's a nice touch. Oh goody. Right, so we actually have to steal an item from an enemy. I don't know why I'm doing this, I know what it does. But yeah, we have to steal from a guard in battle to get ourselves a gate pass. Cool. Well, there we go then. abilities I could just heal for free. Huh? Thanks. I mean cool. So, first and foremost, that wasn't a shot, that was more like a grenade, and secondly, he just reduced every single stat of every single character? That seems a bit powerful. Eh, this dude's done for. Yeah. Goodbye. Ugh. Goodbye. Oh, come on, game. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love it. That was very fun. Honestly, it's not really worth giving those guys the magician's uh, rings. Like, you can kind of, I guess you can give someone, or one of them, like an osmosis ring to get a little bit of MP, but getting one MP at the most unless I'm dealing meaningful damage. So yeah, not really worth it in my book. We need one more pendulum and one more junk parts to get a hacker rig. Pretty sure we can buy a, hack, a uh, junk parts from the uh, ship. But it's good to know anyway. came in. I think. Is that where we... No, it's not. Oh boy, this place is going to be vast. There we go. I knew what I was doing, I was just checking to make sure it was safe. Yep, it's uh, all safe over here. I'm going to put this back down, because I can imagine this being the bridge to that dude down there as well. Oh, I keep thinking I can zoom in on parts of the screen that I can't. I mean, I haven't even explored half of the floor below, but... You're bad people. And he's also a bad person. Hidden the bottle a little too hard, buddy. The time has come. You must return. Ooh, we 
got a higher power. Petulant child, you are. You're not my real dad. Alright, so shift this up, bring it on over. I probably should have done that first. Hey, I'm sorry guys. I'm just making a mess of this. It's all a part of the plan. That is just one hell of a health and safety hazard. We've taken the advantage. I mean, fair enough, you don't care about the surrounding area and all the magic leakage. That's not fair enough, but... He obviously doesn't care, but you should care about your workforce, man. The more they get screwed over, the slower things go for you. A gate pass. I really wish these wouldn't cost so much, like poison, sleep, paralyze. Like I would be so tempted to use them, but they cost the same as what Winder does. And it's, I'd rather just go for the insta kill rather than the potential to seal or paralyze something. It's such a shame. I guess it's because they're probably like essential against certain boss battles, but eh, it just never feels worth it. Yeah, let's have a bit of fun. And you... They're poisoning us. Fantastic. Listen, you. Alright, Jansen, do your thing. There we go. You would have thought the pyro would be the better thief, but... Well, there we are. Because damage to her is damage to the GC, which means everyone's, or everyone in the back row's defense goes down. Whereas healing Sarah means she won't get damaged this turn, but everyone's general defense will go down with it. Whee! Oh dear. Yeah, we're going to need that composite magic of a... Uh, Thingy cure, uh, poison antidote stuff. Get a lower All right, Robotnik, calm down. God, God. <laughs> yeah, the fight's gonna be over before we get a chance to do anything, I guess. Where is it? Well, this dude's gonna take a couple of hits to get rid of. Their ability to poison is truly awful, so. Let me get rid of that. Uh, yeah, cool. Got only one row. Oh, why? That's so annoying. Ugh. 
fine. Man, this fight is turning out to be a bit tougher than I expected. Don't you poison us! Ah! You got a crit just to get revenge on me. Pigs there of this fight. This has just gone horrendously, it really has. Can we please just kill this thing now? Oh, of course it goes first. And of what? Went horrendously. It's not in my nature to lose. But everyone got to level up, so that's good. Yeah, Jansen's only lagging behind by six, which is actually the same because everyone. Whoa! Awesome. Kaimland slot plus three. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Because they all start learning at the same rate, it means that they will learn the same ability at the same time. So now we've got Black Magic 3. And she knows everything else Jansen has to learn. Good stuff. Guess we'll go with Spirit Magic. And now let's heal up. We can use characters outside of the battle party. Awesome. There we go. I mean... This place is not fun. You got a leak? Of course. Of course. Although, does that then mean I'm blocking off? Another... Another path where something might be accessible. Oh boy. This is gonna take some time. Right, let's get back to this place and see if we can get over here and see what's over here. And then come back here to then block off this path and oh my god. Right, we're back here. I should have done the thing that I... I thought I should have done first, and I doubted myself, and... <sighs> I mean, I'm saying all this, I have to then undo what I'm currently doing. So I can then go back, put that crate back down, and then go back a bit. And I don't know what I'm doing this for, because there is nothing here. Why? Why, game? 
Better give me something like it. Right, let's check and see what's over here. Better be treasure. No, nothing. Oh no, I think I see a ladder. Okay, phew. It wasn't for nothing. I mean, it probably was still for nothing, but... It's leading me on. Oh no, I see a treasure. Yay! See, it was all worth it, guys. Oh, please be a spell. Uh, I think I can make a thing out of that. A. 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 Oh, I need a bruiser ring. Yay! I get a crusher ring. Okay. See you on the next episode. Man, this place is exhausting. Get it? Exhaust because it fumes and the, the leakage and... Uh...